Alrighty guys, Mari here with my top 5 mods for ARK in 2022. So, starting off our list, we have the Confucius Ornus. This is a nice little bird that, this is based off of an actual prehistoric bird as well. But this is a nice little bird that will add in a nice vanilla feeling egg collection. Instead of like the S Plus where it just pops out on the floor and all of a sudden it's in the dude's inventory. But what you can do with this bird is you can craft a nest inside of its inventory and place that nest down. And then what you can do is set that Confucius Ornus to go and collect either unfertilized eggs or fertilized eggs. And it will bring them back to that nest that you have placed down. And each Confucius Ornus is set, is set to the nest that you craft in its inventory. And the way that you can tell on which Confucius Ornus belongs to what nest is by the color of the feathers on the Confucius Ornest and, and on the inside of the nest. And so what you can also do with this is it can collect the fertilized eggs and unfertilized eggs, but with fertilized eggs you can even have it hatch them and raise them for you. So if you're say on single player, this is a nice little bird because if you need to breed out some dinosaurs, say for out the alpha dragon. That was something I had trouble dealing with on my own. It took me a lot of time, a lot of just sitting there babying them. But with this bird, it will it will automate that system for you. So this just is a great improvement towards the breeding and the egg collecting system. But next up on our list, we have the awesome teleporters. I'm putting these in here just because we're starting to get a lot more larger maps, especially here with Funjor and uh, Lost Isles. Those maps are pretty big. And uh, as we get more and more large maps, just flying to your, say, your buddy's base on the other side of the map is going to just take longer and longer. But with awesome teleporters here, you can set it up so that way you can have a teleporter from your base to your friend's base. Or as what I've seen other people do it with is, is they'll have a community hub of where all these people have just a teleporter hub where they can come in use it to quickly get around the map and this will just come in handy especially on those larger maps but next up just for utility here we have the awesome spyglass and this is so that way when you're trying to tame creatures and you're wondering how much torpidity they have left or how much health they have for a certain thing you don't have to get up and close with them on with the magnifying glass so that way you can just sit back hit them with the spyglass see how much torpor they have left, how much food, or how much health, all that. And uh, this is just great for when you're starting off taming creatures. Say you're going out for a giga and uh, you're starting to run low on tranquilizers and you're like, damn it, I might not be able to do this and I might have just wasted all my tranquilizers. This is so that way you can use that spyglass and you can see how much that got you and you can figure out, all right, I need to bring a lot more this time. And also so that way you're not just wasting narcotics or anything, just spamming tranks into something until it falls asleep. But next up here, we have Structures Plus. Yes, Structures Plus. Um, the reason this is on here is because I have a lot of friends here that play Ark, and they uh, they like to grab a lot of those stackable mods, like the, like the mod that improves on tree platforms, on uh, foundations, I know that one of them loves the fucking pillar, like the better pillars mod, but a lot of them don't like to read the description, and if you go through and read the descriptions, it even says that there's a better version of that in the Structures Plus mod. So the Structure Plus mod is in here just because of all the turret variants, the structures in it. It even adds in these nice little features called interior, interior pipes and wires, so that way you're not just having clutter everywhere. In your base like you know just random wires and pipes laying around and it even has this nice little feature here where you can see if the pipe is irrigated or if the wire is powered it also does add in several other things like advanced transfer tool uh, you also got these seamless crop plots where you can place them on top of a foundation which would be which for me that's awesome because I'm very OCD <laughs> about my builds and then you also got these crop plots snapped to foundations and ceilings, in which, again, I'm a little OCD, so yes. But then you also got these where you got the item collector, you got the farmer, and you got the gardener. In which, again, item collector uh, looks like it 
oh, item collected here. I thought that was different. But the item collected here will collect poop and just distribute it to compost bins and dung beetles. The farmer will collect fertilizer and from the compost bins and dung beetles and then distribute it to nearby crop plots. And you got the gardener here, which will collect items produced by crop plots. But here's my here's my favorite part, and this is just because I thought this was a little, you know, like why why did you even bother? Like, eh, is there underwater compartments? Which the vanilla underwater compartments, I mean, yes, they are help handy, but they aren't like the S plus where you got it, where it can again snap to normal walls. Did that does that say we can place them on rafts and saddles? It does. So you can place these on rafts and saddles. But you also get these nice little sloped vacuum compartments. So that way you can make, say, a nice sloped like ceiling or floor on your uh, underwater base. And again, you got these pillars attached to ramps, uh, the ceilings attached to the bottom of ramp, all that. You know, you got these nice staircases, you know, it's snappable windows. It just adds a lot of quality of life changes that Ark really needs, especially in the building. And it's just awesome. I really recommend everyone on PC get this. I mean, there is a version of it already implemented into the base game, but it's mostly just simple structures like the corner pieces of the wood through metal tier. Not their advanced, their more advanced ones, which you can get here through the S Plus mod. And for our number one slot, and do, and this is due to its more more recent updates, is Arc Editions. And recently, here Arc Editions had a major TLC on a couple of its dinosaurs. I believe it is the their sea turtle there in their uh, Brachiosaurus. And I know they added a new variant of their Brachiosaurus, known as the Woolly Brachiosaurus. Here it is. And I mean, yes, that that's awesome, especially when you're playing on Genesis Part One. You're in the snow biome, and boom, you got this snowy or woolly uh, rhino. I also love it because there's a modded map here that's been worked on called Glacial. Shout out to it. Recommend you also go check that one out. But it's also still a work in progress. That they also have woolly carnos, and I got a fit. Arc Edition's woolly brachio just blends in so much with it. I've always wanted a arc map where it's just completely frozen, and Arc Edition adds in uh, woolly bronto, which hell even brings on. And all the models for this mod are custom made. They are very high quality. They aren't just someone paid a dollar for them off of a market and slapped them in there as a mod. These are custom made, custom textured, all that. Here we got the Krylophosaurus. This is another favorite one of mine. It's very helpful in taming, especially when you need to slow down a creature. That, or that's what I use them for. I know it's probably not the best idea, but it helps slow them down so you can trank them. Then I think this one's called the Concavenator, which is basically a sand, like a sand shark, where it will surf along the water or in the sand, and uh, you can jump out, and it's pretty damn good. And they did recently add a new boss, which. Uh, I can't remember it off of its head right now. I'm trying to think. Uh, Dinosuchus, I think. No, not the Dinosuchus, sorry. Uh, Archanthrosaurus, I believe. They added in a boss version of it. And uh, it drops up to 200 elements. And it is a, definitely a hard mode boss. It will stomp out your enemies. And another thing here is Arc Editions, it does have a lot of other creatures still pending on coming in. As you can see here, we got the Helicopteron, Dinothrumus, Gorgoxus. I don't worry about my all that shit, but here, let's just go to the Discord and look. Here's their Helicopteron here, as you can see here in this video. Here is their swimming animation. And it looks, it's pretty far along the Helicopteron so far. I think that's... I think it is definitely going to probably be the next creature implemented into the mod. I think we're looking at the normal and then we're looking at the X variant. But down here on the bottom here, you might be wondering, what is this? What is this? I was wondering about this too until right before I started recording this video, I finally figured it out. This is the Helicopterion egg. Yeah. As you can see here, you can see it in there. 
lies. So yeah, it's starting to come pretty far along. Here's the better look at it. Here's the size comparison that he gave us for it compared to the Megalodon. So a little bit longer, a little bit bigger than the Megalodon. So right. that has been my top five mods that you must use in ARC 2022. I'm sorry, I kind of started rambling off there towards the end, but see ya.